Are you looking for new and popular topics for your YouTube channel? Or do you want more traffic from YouTube search? In today's video, you'll learn how to do keyword research for YouTube so that you can get more views to your videos and grow your channel. So let's get started. Okay, to do keyword research for YouTube, I always like to begin by looking at the source, and that's YouTube.com, right? So on YouTube, I like to start by just searching for a general topic that I'm thinking about recording a video around. Let's just say we are thinking about recording a video associated around affiliate marketing. So what you want to do is just type in affiliate marketing right here, and you'll notice the list of recommended keywords from YouTube. Now, this is a goldmine because these are the keywords that people are searching for on YouTube. And it makes sense for you to record a video around all of these terms that make sense for your channel. You'll notice some additional data next to the keywords. Now, this data is actually coming from keywords everywhere. Okay, you can see the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, and the search trend over the past 12 months. Okay, to unlock this data, uh, you'll need Keywords Everywhere. So install the Keywords Everywhere extension, turn it on, and also purchase credits because you do need the credits to unlock the search volume. And when it comes to keyword research, you always wanna make sure you are looking at search volume to determine which are the most popular keywords uh, to focus on, right? So uh, once you have that, look at this list, see what makes sense, right? You can even pull a lot of good strategies, a lot of good insights just from this list alone, right? Uh, you could see the year. 2022, even 2021. So it looks like people want the latest tips and tricks on affiliate marketing. So what you could do is possibly create a, you know, affiliate marketing for every single year, right? 2022, 2023, so on and so forth. Looks like people want to learn how to do affiliate marketing from different social media, uh, social media channels, right? Pinterest, Affiliate marketing for beginners. This one has a really good search volume. Um, go through here, see what makes sense. Look at the search volume. Um, try to focus on the ones that have higher search volume, right? So affiliate marketing for beginners has search volume of, of 3,600. So let's click on that and let's dive a little bit deeper. So on the YouTube search results page, uh, you can see all of these channels that are ranking at the very top here. Look at their titles, see how they are structuring their titles. Right, affiliate marketing for beginners, affiliate marketing tutorial for beginners, right? So they are adding the keyword in their title. Now you'll notice the widgets on the right here. So this does come from Keywords Everywhere. And I always like to look at this data here to determine whether or not this is a viable keyword for me. I like to look at the ranking difficulty. It's from zero to 100, 100 being the most difficult to rank for, right? So the lower difficulty, the better. Right? It's more chance for you to rank as high as possible. Now, I like to kind of browse through the YouTube trend data over the past uh, 12 months to see if it's a popular term people are searching for. I also like to look at the most used tags. So these are the tags that these YouTube uh, videos are using. So this is another goldmine of additional topics that you can potentially look into. Okay, You can see like tutorial here. Uh, let's see, uh, like ClickBank, right? ClickBank looks like people want to learn more about ClickBank, how to use ClickBank for affiliate marketing. Uh, but let, to dive a little bit deeper around this keyword that we searched for, just click on the button right here. And when you click on this button, uh, Keywords Everywhere will sh create this report and it will show you the relevant keywords around that search term. Now, this is another gold mine of very, very relevant, valuable data. Okay, so you could see all of these keywords here that are, that are associated with affiliate marketing for beginners. Okay, uh, you can see the monthly search volume, average cost per click, the competition score, the search trend over the past 12 months, and then the trending percentage. So I always like to look at the search volume mainly. Okay, let's see what makes sense for us, right? Um, how to be a marketing affiliate, 
how to get started on affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing for, for dummies, uh, for beginners, right? Go through here, see what makes sense for your channel. And what you could do is star them, like what I did right here. And when you star them, these keywords will be added to your favorites list, okay? You can access your favorites list by clicking on the extension and then clicking on my favorite keywords. So you could refer to it at a later date, right? So see what makes sense, tutorial on affiliate marketing, how to start affiliate marketing for beginners, pros and cons. So these are really great topics, okay? So within a, just a couple of minutes, you'll find a list of, you know, over 300 uh, videos uh, to record around, right? Of course, um, of course, only focus on the ones that make the most sense, right? And you could dive a little bit deeper as well. Say, for example, pros and cons of affiliate marketing. That's kind of interesting. So you could copy it and go back to YouTube. The search volume is 140, which is okay. And you could add it there. And let's see what the ranking difficulty is. Right, so this one was 52, but let's just see if it's either higher or lower, okay? Let's see. And then you could see what types of videos are ranking for this term, okay? And looking at the titles will give you some additional insights into what types of keywords to add on your YouTube um, titles, your video titles, right? So disadvantages of affiliate marketing could be one. You could see they added cons, pros and cons, right? affiliate marketing pros and cons, right? So you wanna make sure you add this keyword in your title if you wanna rank for it. And then ranking difficulty is 44. So it's less than the previous one. So if you're really hoping to rank as high as possible, maybe this one could be a better keyword than the previous one because the ranking difficulty is lower, right? And if you wanna dive a little bit deeper, just click on this button and see if there are other relevant keywords around pros and cons of affiliate marketing. Right, it has a lower search volume, so it, let's see what additional keywords. There might not be that many other additional keywords, which is okay. That gives you some insight in knowing that, okay, pros and cons of affiliate marketing is the only keyword that you should be focusing on, and that's really good to know, right? Um, but yeah, you could wait until this report finishes and just follow that same process, right? Go through the list, see what makes sense, star them, and start recording your videos, right? So definitely use keywords everywhere to find the best keywords with the most search volume and start recording your videos around all of these very, very amazing topics that have high search volume. So this is the way to do keyword research for YouTube. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, hopefully you got some value out of this video. Please help us out by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and if you wanna learn more about Keywords Everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.